Eruhan, Wikipedia Audio Eruhan, or, Over the Range slash RHWN slash is a novel by Samuel Butler which was first published anonymously in 1872. The title is also the name of a country, supposedly discovered by the protagonist. In the novel, it is not revealed where Eruhan is, but it is clear that it is a fictional country. Butler meant the title to be understood as the word nowhere backwards even though the letters H and W are transposed. The book is a satire on Victorian society. The first few chapters of the novel dealing with the discovery of Eruhan are in fact based on Butler's own experiences in New Zealand where, as a young man, he worked as a sheep farmer on Mesopotamia Station for about four years, and explored parts of the interior of the South Island and which he wrote about in his a first year in Canterbury Settlement. The greater part of the book consists of a description of Eruhan. The nature of this nation is intended to be ambiguous. At first glance, Eruhan appears to be a utopia, yet it soon becomes clear that this is far from the case. Yet for all the failings of Eruhan, it is also clearly not a dystopia, such as that depicted in George Orwell's 1984. As a satirical utopia, Eruhan has sometimes been compared to Gulliver's Travels, a classic novel by Jonathan Swift. The image of utopia in this latter case also bears strong parallels with the self-view of the British Empire at the time. It can also be compared to the William Morris novel, News from Nowhere. Content Eruhan satirises various aspects of Victorian society, including criminal punishment, religion, and anthropocentrism. For example, According to Eruhonian law, offenders are treated as if they were ill, whereas ill people are looked upon as criminals. Another feature of Eruhan is the absence of machines, this is due to the widely shared perception by the Eruhanians that they are potentially dangerous. This last aspect of Eruhan reveals the influence of Charles Darwin's evolution theory, Butler had read on the origin of species soon after it was published in 1859. Butler developed the three chapters of Eruhan that make up the Book of the Machines from a number of articles that he had contributed to the press, which had just begun publication in Christchurch, New Zealand, beginning with Darwin Among the Machines. Butler was the first to write about the possibility that machines might develop consciousness by Darwinian selection. Many dismissed this as a joke, but, in his preface to the second edition, Butler wrote, I regret that reviewers have in some cases been inclined to treat the chapters on machines as an attempt to reduce Mr. Darwin's theory to an absurdity. Nothing could be further from my intention and few things would be more distasteful to me than any attempt to laugh at Mr. Darwin. After its first release, this book sold far better than any of Butler's other works, perhaps because the British public assumed that the anonymous author was some better-known figure. In a 1945 broadcast, George Orwell praised the book and said that when Butler wrote Eruhan it needed imagination of a very high order to see that machinery could be dangerous as well as useful. He recommended the novel, though not its sequel, Eruhan Revisited. The French philosopher Gilles Deleuze used ideas from Butler's book at various points in the development of his philosophy of difference. Indifference and repetition Deleuze refers to what he calls ideas as Eruhan. Ideas are not concepts, he explains, but rather a form of eternally positive differential multiplicity, distinguished from the identity of concepts. Eruhan refers to the nomadic distributions that pertain to simulacra, which are not universals like the categories, 
nor are they the hik et nunc or nowhere, the diversity to which categories apply in representation. Eruhan, in this reading, is not only a disguised nowhere but a rearranged now here. In his collaboration with Felix Guateri, Antietapus, Deleuze draws on Butler's The Book of the Machines to go beyond the usual polemic between vitalism and mechanism as it relates to their concept of desiring machines. For one thing, Butler is not content to say that machines extend the organism, but asserts that they are really limbs and organs lying on the body without organs of a society, which men will appropriate according to their power and their wealth and whose poverty deprives them as if they were mutilated organisms. For another, he is not content to say that organisms are machines, but asserts that they contain such an abundance of parts that they must be compared to very different parts of distinct machines, each relating to the others, engendered in combination with the others. He shatters the vitalist argument by calling in question the specific or personal unity of the organism, and the mechanist argument even more decisively, by calling in question the structural unity of the machine. In 1994, a group of ex-Yugoslavian writers in Amsterdam, who had established the Penn Center of Yugoslav Writers in Exile, published a single issue of a literary journal Eruhan. New Zealand Sound Art Organization, the Audio Foundation, published in 2012 an anthology edited by Bruce Russell named Eruhan Calling after Butler's book. In 2014, New Zealand artist Gavin Hipkins released his first feature film, titled Eruhan, and based on Butler's book. It premiered at the New Zealand International Film Festival and the Edinburgh Art Festival. The Book of the Machines In Smile, the second episode of the 2017 season of Doctor Who, the Doctor and Bill explore a spaceship named Air One. Despite the slightly different spelling, the episode writer Frank Cottrell Boyce confirmed that this was a reference to Butler's novel. Characters Reception Influence and Legacy